Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and today we're going to do a bit of a fun video actually going to show off an app. It's completely free in the Play Store. It is called the Golf With Golf GPS. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video. We are here at the Lincoln Park Golf Course in Oklahoma City, so pretty excited to get, the, get out there and actually start uh, playing. All right, so to start, we're gonna press the Explore Courses button. What that does is use your location on your phone, and you'll see it brings up Lincoln Park Golf Course right away, 0.01 miles, we're here, and you can download them. And it really doesn't take a long time to download. You'll see I'm downloading Twin Hills Golf and Country Club just to show you guys what it's like. Real quick loads through depending on your data speeds, but you'll see, and then once you are ready to go, like we are, Lincoln Park Golf Course, select the Out Course, and then the In Course as well, and go ahead and hit Start, and you're ready to play around a golf. So when I introduce you to everyone, that was uh, Stefan warming up on the range. Say what up, Stefan. What's going on? And then this is my buddy Jake over here. Hey, hey. Say what's up. These guys are going to help me. We're just getting warmed up, hitting some balls on the range. Swing. All right, so we just hit our first tee shots, and I'm just gonna do a quick basic overview, and you'll see we're pretty close to uh, the hole right now, but I do wanna say you can swipe through holes, very simple, left and right. Now, if I do back out of it, I can hit resume play, so you don't have to worry about that. You'll see up in the upper left-hand corner, I do have an account, so if I go ahead and jump into settings, you'll see I have a profile, it does sync across various devices. You can go to my clubs, you can set yardages, so you know uh, what yardage you hit specific clubs, and also change the unit from yards to meters as well. All right, so we are on the third hole right now. Looks like we have a blind tee shot up here on a par five. Uh, so we're actually not exactly sure where to hit the ball, where to aim. This app, uh, the Golf With app actually lets us know the hole, just a good overview, solid overview in terms of where the trees are. Um, you can kind of place where you want to hit the ball and it lets you know how far that specific spot is. You just kind of press and hold on the screen, swipe it around, you can put it to different spots. You can see how far you are from a bunker, how far from a tree. Um, and now for this hole, it's a good instance if you, if you just want to slide it over and put it right in front of the trees over here. It's 270 to those trees uphill into the wind, so this is a really good instance of knowing that I can pull a driver here and I'm not going to get in too much trouble going up the hill on the blind tee shot. Exactly. All right, so as usual on a par five, you always have the choice whether you want to lay up or go for the green, and in this particular case, I have a shot where I can see the top of the pin, but I can't really tell what's up there in terms of a bunker, maybe a water hazard. And then with this app, of course, I can just go ahead and take a look at what's up there over the hill. So then I don't even need to drive up there and take a look. I can see there's a couple bunkers just left of the green. There's also a bunker on the left here that I can just check. And you'll see it says about 199 away. So if I want to play it safe, I can just hit a 170 yard layup shot right to the middle of the fairway. No, I can't reach that bunker. Uh, so that's probably what I'm just about going to do right now. All right, so as you can see, laid up, bunkers right there, stayed short of them, uh, really turned out well. And now I can hit my next shot. You'll see I got 111 to the front, I mean to the middle of the green. The front of the green is 92 yards, let's hit this shot. All right, so here we are on a par three, and actually this is very helpful on par threes, considering you can pinch to zoom for one. So you can kind of zoom in on the green, and of course it gives you in the upper left hand corner that front middle back so you'll see the pin is back it's blue so you know middle of the green 139 you see where the pin is and you can actually move that dot very precisely to kind of see where exactly you want to hit it and where exactly the pin's going to be um, and then you'll know so you'll know the front of the green is 126 with that being said you see the bunker in the front so with the bunker up front you want to make sure you can carry over 126 to get it on the green uh, yeah so it's very helpful in part threes Good shot. Very nice. That looks good. Good work. Here we are walking up. All three of us hit the green on this par three, 10th. 
I'll have a look at Birdie. So here's Stefan's birdie putt. I just made my par putt. Oh, good try. Jake for birdie. Stefan with the tester for par. And he sinks it. Good putt. Nice ball. Wow. All right, so next feature is uh, kind of a shot recording feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus button where we just hit our drives that you just saw. Now we're gonna drive up and see how far we hit the balls. All right, so driving up to mine and Stefan's tee shot, you see we ended up just about right next to each other. With that being said, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus button again because I'm gonna hit another shot. But you'll see in the app, pay attention, uh, you'll see on the right side, it lets you know that distance of how far you hit it. So you'll see right there, 339. And then also, you'll notice in the app, some green lines. Basically that will uh, save your previous rounds on the courses. So you'll see when you shot record, it will save those shots. So it will let you know where you hit it last time you played this hole, how far you hit it, all that good stuff. All right, so we're on hole 15, taking our shots now. Uh, Stefan's up by one stroke, so he's got some pressure on to get it on the green. Dicks it right there on the right side. Good shot, Stefan. Well, I've hit it on the green. Put a little pressure on Tim. Up a stroke still. See what he does. Oh, good swing. All right. All right, here's Stefan's birdie putt. All right, pretty solid, nice putt. All right, for his par. Nice par. Let's see if we tie back up with this. All right. All right, so Stefan's up one with three left. Another nice feature of these track shots is you can tap on them and you get options. So you can select a specific club, off the tee, I know I hit driver on the second shot. You see I select club, I can hit iron eight. And you'll see on the right side next to those yardages, those clubs get added. There's other options as well. You can move a shot, add shot, and delete. So let's say my drive is somewhere a little bit different. I can go ahead and hit move. I can drag it around and you'll see that yardage changes based on where I move it to and I tap out of it. There, it is moved. I can also add a shot. So I hit add shot and you'll see one gets added right in between where I can go ahead and move it if it's in a different spot. And then obviously I can go ahead and just delete shots as well. So I've got this left for par and Tim, AKA QB King 77 has got this left for birdie to tie it up. Yes. All square. All right, here's Stefan about to choke and miss his par putt. <laughs> and he makes it all square going into 18. All right, 18th hole. Here's our tee shots. Good ball. Smoked. Oh, yeah. All right, so 18, my drive right here, Stefan's drive right there. Pretty consistent, actually. Um, anyways, looks like I'm about 66 yards to the middle, pins a little back. So if I go ahead and zoom in, I want to stay away from all three bunkers. I obviously don't want to hit in the bunker a little bit further back. So I'm probably about 72 yards away. Let's go ahead and hit it. All right, Stefan, he's got to put it close. I put the pressure on him, went on the green. He's got to do the same.
Oh, nice shot. So here on 18, I stuck into about six, seven feet, looking at a birdie. Tim's shot looked good, but just rolled off the back. It's now up to him to get up and down to put a little pressure on. Pressure's on. All right, Stefan for the win for birdie on 18. Get in. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good putt, dude. All right, just finishing up. Stefan, what'd you think of the Golf With Golf GPS app? Really like the app. Like that you can move the uh, spot where you're hitting the ball to and can give you a good distance and it gave you a good aerial view of where bunkers were and trees were. And, Really gauge of where you want to hit the ball, lay up, fly some trees or whatever. But I really like the app. Yep. Jake, what'd you think? Oh, great app, great app. If you've never played a course before, you know, come out here, you can see where the holes are going, uh, see what uh, hazards you got, trees in the way, how you want to, you know, plan, plan of attack for the hole. So, great app, uh, great, great use of uh, distance as well. Uh, Perfect. All right, so that's really about it. I'm definitely gonna be using this app every time I golf from now on. Uh, it was very helpful throughout the run, being able to pinch to zoom and then find very specific yardages really helped. And just overall, all the different features of it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching.